Are you looking for a cheap, fast and reliable method to break a lot of bedrock in vanilla survival Minecraft? This video is for you. In this video, I will be using redstone lag to slow down the game to break bedrock. As a disclaimer, I did not come up with this method and this video doesn't aim to show that. It's rather my way to make it more reliable and accessible to the general Minecraft community. So for this method, we will need a 9x9 or an 11x11 redstone grid with a lever at the middle. We will need a haste 2 beacon so we can instantly mine pistons. And we will need the content service chest. Not in the, this, these are not exact quantities. You can use as many as you want as you will be able to see. But extra amounts never hurt. So I will be using an auto clicker for this. You can use any third party auto clicker. But I will use one that comes with Tweaker mod. I will link that in the description. And the way we're going to access the auto clicker is by clicking X and C. I will go to the generic fast right click. As you can see, I have it set to 32. And if we go to tweaks, we can set our keybind for it. I have it set to J. So as soon as I click J, you will see, see the notification fast right click on. And they'll basically activate the auto clicker. So how does this whole thing works? work? If we spam this lever with an auto clicker on for a bit, uh, the world will have a high enough MSPT so that we can do a lot of things in the same tick. Let me quickly show that off. If we mine this netherrack, you will notice the sand doesn't start falling right away. And that's because that lever is still flicking, so the longer we flick it, the, the more we can do in the same tick. We will just wait until the sand falls, and hopefully I didn't flick it for too long. And as you can see, only now the sand fell. So how can we use this to break bedrock? So, you probably have seen that you can break bedrock with pistons and explosions and stuff like that. Uh, we can actually do that without explosions if we use this method. Um, so let me briefly explain how bedrock, bedrock breaking works. We need to have a power piston and we need to unpower it by removing its source, a power source uh, or unbutting it. Uh, we need to mine the piston then we need to replace it facing the block we want to break, in this case the bedrock. And that would do some weird stuff that's written in the Minecraft code and that would remove the bedrock. Uh, so let's do that in practice. We have this piston placed and instead of removing the power source while the world is lagging, uh, we will bud the piston ahead of time. As you can see, we had this redstone block, then we updated the piston, and that caused it to retract. So let's do this. I will spam, the, uh, first of all, uh, for the first few bedrocks, we will need trapdoors, so that we can actually place the piston facing down. I will spam this for a bit, not for too long. Break the nether rack to update the piston. Kneel, make sure the auto clicker is not enabled and place the piston facing down. Now we wait. And this is a good sign, the piston is facing that way. And let's break out. Break the piston. And we have one broken bedrock. Uh, so that worked like a charm. Uh, let me show this one more time and this time I won't be using trapdoors since we already have this hole and that will make the whole process faster. I will do the exact same thing. It, the piston direction does not really matter as long as it's re retracted. So let's do this one more time. Update the pistons. Break the pistons. Replace the pistons facing down. And wait. This is a promising sign. 
right click these to make sure they're not ghost blocks and yeah we have a three wide bedrock hole here uh, so you can make this hole as big as you want in my case i made a 16 wide hole and that'll allow me to break 16 bedrock with this at once so i pre pre-placed some of these pistons but i will continue it now uh, for the sake of the speed of this video i will place this to update it and now i can safely mine all these redstone blocks now we have a lot more pistons and we will need a bit of extra time so i uh, it's a good habit to learn to count uh, like exactly how much time you need to make this as fast as possible so i'm gonna count to two one two update the pistons break the pistons in the right order replace the pistons as fast as i could Make sure you don't have the auto clicker on this step because for some reason it caused me to think that there is some limit as I said in my previous video and I don't recommend watching it as it had quite a few mistakes. And as you can see, let me make sure it's not ghost blocks by right clicking, right clicking them. And we broke 16 bedrock at once. And now there is no real limit other than human error. And yeah, the, the smaller you go, the easier this gets. Uh, but you can like manage it your way. So how long exactly does this take? Uh, like how fast really is this method? Now, I did this chunk in Vanilla Survival Minecraft, even though this is not my main world, it's just for demonstration, and it took me three hours with a small break, uh, with all the trial and error, with all the trying things out and messing up, and so I'd say it's between two and three hours per chunk. Now, if you want to remove, like, bedrock for a small wither skeleton farm to improve the rates, it's a great thing. Now. Let's say you want to do this method faster on a larger scale. Now, Palamedes sent me this machine after my first video, and it's a really cool little machine. So it removes the part where we have to actually place the pistons and bot them, and it completely automates it. Um, th then we would break, press this node block and it would move one forward. It's really cool. So let me quickly show it off. I'm going to max out my auto clicker for this. This is 64. I'm going to click this for three seconds. So now we update this no uh, these pistons by pressing this node block. Break these as fast as we could. Make sure the auto clicker is off, and we replace them as fast as we could. I might have messed it up, but hopefully not. I might have spammed that for a bit too long, but hopefully that this still works any day now. And we just broke 24 bedrock at a time. As you can see, this machine is fully tileable. Um, Palamese claims that it's not worth it since you can just build a three-way breaker. And I agree with that, but it's still a really cool machine to show off. So. Now that we broke the bedrock, we can just click this, and it'll move one forward and bud all these pistons. Um, amazing machine, great idea. So, did you find this video informative? Uh, maybe you made a hole in your world after watching this video? Please like, sub, leave a comment, share with your friends, and have a good day. And please enjoy this time lapse of breaking this chunk from 3 hours to 10 minutes. Have a great day.